Well, it's super windy out today. It's like the 22nd of January, I think. Uh, the old square, she ain't, uh, she ain't gone nowhere since November. It's been in the negatives for the last couple of weeks. It's like 22 out right now. And I thought it'd be a good time to uh, see if she fires up. Um, I think I put the plow on it the first week of December. And uh, this is where it got parked since then. So, yeah. Ooh, that's stiff. Oh, come on, open up. No idea if this is going to start Ugh, purple. Oh, so tall. Ah, who left my seat up? Uh, the old girl. Look at this thing. With the old key in. The dome light's on. That's a good start. Guess we gotta turn that off. Let's see here. Probably no gas up by the carb. Wow. You gonna die it's you know like I said it was cold as hell Oop. finally getting some gas up there there we go look at that Negative temperatures, you know, suck the fuel back to the tank. She wants some more. Give her some more. She's a trying. You gotta get that gas up there. That and I don't have a high speed idle set. Be like Dan over there at DD Speed Shop takes all his takes all his chokes off everything. Yeah. I got my choke on. I just don't have the high idle set. And it's been a month and a half since this thing fired up. She's going though. She's going. Poor old Betsy's a little cold. Got a good uh, southwest wind, so pretty much pointed at it out here. We had to come out and see if the plow works. We don't know. We'll half ass shut the door. It's a uh, beautiful winter out here. whopping uh, super cold 30 PSI you know you know these old 350s they'll run on you know 10 PSI oil pressure and still leak which is crazy to me they'll still leak and they'll still burn it at 10 PSI let's see what happens Oop, I, le I left my foot off the pedal would she die she probably will she hasn't gone through her uh, cycle yet of uh, warming up for the choke to open all the way. So we'll just hold it a little bit. This thing shows uh, 57. That's either 157 or 257. This soul girl's pretty beat. I'm just curious to whether the uh, plow will go up and down or if all the juices have mixed with moisture again this year and uh, are frozen to the ground. I don't even have the four-wheel drive hub locked in. I just remembered that. It's terrible. Yeah, she's still 
look cold. See if this lifts at all. Oh, he tried. Oh, we got it to wiggle. There it goes. Plow is up. Holy shimokies, it worked. Oh my lord. Oh, it's not happy with the right turn. Oh yeah, she might be out of, she might be low on juice. Yep. I may have to fill her up with some juice. That's all she's got. Yep. Well, that was the science experiment. Will the plow go up and down? It did it twice. That's it. Yep, must be empty. Well, I guess we'll come back out in like an hour and uh, maybe the sun will hit it long enough. It's, it's up there. The sun will hit it long enough. Warm that box up a little bit. There ain't no way I could run a torch out here. Or we just wait. Monday and Tuesday are supposed to be up in the 30s. That'll be fun. But it's also supposed to snow Monday and Tuesday, which is why I wanted to fire it up today on the warmest day so far of this year. See, she's doing better now. She's warming up. On idle, 30 PSI. Temp gauge is barely starting to rise. I'm surprised the volt meter is working. That does whatever it wants when it wants. That didn't sound very happy. But whatever. Old Betsy fired up after we got her primed. Can't beat that. Let it snow, let it snow. Try her again. Oh, I locked it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Well, golly gee, Bobby. I guess uh, we got to go find some tranny fluid and put it in there. Yep, that's what I use. Little transmission fluid. Because why not? If it's going to get contaminated, why would you want to just keep putting stuff in it? Well, you can put new gaskets in it. And uh, it won't leak or get moisture in it. Well, yeah, good. But then I gotta take it all apart. I don't wanna take it all apart. All right. Have a great, 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 great day. All right. All right.